We're here at Air Venture Oshkosh and we've come up to the North Aircraft Display Area where all the kit guys are. And indeed, one of the leaders in that whole realm is Vans Aircraft, which has sold, what, 7,000 kits now or more than oh, that, right? Quite a lot more than that, yeah. We actually have about 8,200 airplanes flying. 8,200. Um, best guess, no one really knows, but probably well over 20,000 kits sold. Is that right? I've never really heard that number before. Right. That's a well, I big number, so <laughs> that's good. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Gus Finnell today. Gus is a man with multiple roles in the Vans organization, right, but yeah. one of them is to work with the fully built project that you're doing with Synergy Air, I believe is the name of the company, isn't it? That's correct, yeah, Synergy Air, they're a company based down in Eugene, Oregon, which is about an hour and a half drive south of us, where we are in Aurora. Now I want the camera to come yeah. over here with me just for a second and look at this uh, signature literally on the side of the airplane. I don't know if I suppose right. he doesn't do that himself, but it actually, looks like his actual signature. signature. Yeah, yeah, we get it done as a mask for the painters to use, but he doesn't actually personally sign each one. But, <laughs> that would be um, a little bit much. Yeah, but, yeah, I think so. But, uh, so this is the, one of the first 12 has the uh, Richard Van Grunsven signature right. right on the side of it, right. and that's kind of cool. Yep. And you offered this at AOPA mm. uh, 2012, I think it was, last right. year at Palm Springs, yeah. and I bam, sold ago. them all out. Pretty much, yeah. We actually eventually took the orders for them back in um, March, I believe, this okay. year, 2013. And yeah, they all sold out in about eight hours or so. <laughs> One of the reasons we're doing it this way is just be, rather than simply saying, well, we're in production with this airplane, is so that we can really, we're, we're dipping a toe in the water, if you like. As Dan said to you before, this is a very new uh, world for us to get into. Um, actually building an airplane, typically we've also just shipped out parts and had other people do it. Um, but actually completing an airplane, uh, doing the whole test flying, painting it ourselves, that kind of thing, and producing an actual flyaway product is quite different. Um, so we want to go into it slowly and carefully, rather than having to you know, build a whole new building, create a bunch of debt, sure, right. this kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. so you've got, are the 12, uh, we, we had on my website, I announced uh, along with some other media that announced your first delivery of mm -hmm. number one of these. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the progress toward that now? Are the others? We're about halfway there on that first batch of 12. Okay. We've delivered um, six of them now. Okay. Uh, one of them is this one here, which is the sporty sweepstake airplane. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, we should be done with delivering the uh, remaining six of that, I would guess, by somewhere in about mid-October. Okay. And sometime prior to that, uh, we'll be uh, announcing uh, the next batch of 12. These, as you mentioned, these are signature edition. They have all the um, options we can put on the items, which include things like the wheel pants. We have ADSB, an autopilot. They've also got this rather nice paint job. Yeah. Um, so it's essentially a fully loaded uh, RV-12, if you like. We envisage that that won't work for everyone. There may be people who, say for a flight school, they don't necessarily need wheel right. pants. It just impedes maintenance on the tires, where you're going to be changing tires out more often on an airplane that does a lot of touch sure. and goes. Or autopilot so or some of those other nice things. They may not need autopilot things. or ADSP. Fancy paint job, they don't need if necessarily. It, exactly, a no VFR pilot being trained ab initio, he doesn't really need that kind of stuff necessarily, so they could potentially save themselves some money by ordering a more stripped down version of the airplane. Um, we also intend to offer maybe different colors. Um, possibly we've even talked about the idea of selling an unpainted airplane and allowing people to simply paint it however they like. That, uh, that's a neat thing. I don't know of any other company that offers that, so that would be a unique way to uh, help well, differentiate the product further. But possibly. I could imagine you yeah. might get some well, shall I say, unusual paint jobs that way? That's certainly possible, but you know, if you look out at all the uh, kit built RVs, you'll see almost anything yeah, out there. That's true. Me, so it's in the rough ballpark of right. fully built. Well, fully built, these these initial signature series ones went for 115,000. 115, okay. Yeah, 115. That's quite a good number. Well, we think it's pretty um, reasonable given the what you get with this airplane. Well, and one, such a reputation yeah. as well, so. The Rotax engine, everything else. It's, you know, in our view, we look hard at the pricing and we want to come in fairly aggressively on that because we want to make it possible for people to obviously afford these airplanes yeah. and uh, obviously also to make us uh, you know hopefully a leader in this marketplace as we've been a leader in the kid airplane Absolutely. marketplace which we've always done on I would say affordability that's one reason why there are 8,000 kit built RVs out there is because 
they're affordable for people. We, you know, generally average people can afford to build and fly an RV, and we'd like to keep the same to be the case with the SLSA. So. Yeah, so the next one somebody could get would be you'll put out the word. Uh, we're in. We also try and stay away from dates for the same reason. But right. this is 2013. Right. Somewhere later this year, you're mm -hmm. going to say, okay, there's another batch coming up, right. and if you're mm -hmm. interested, let us know. Yep. And yep. seems to be to be a nice, uh, nice stepping stone way to get there. Sure. But there's one way they can get it for free. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and give a nod to Sporties. Yeah, they've well, now done several light sports, so right. uh, no yeah. surprise to me that they picked it, but how'd yeah. that go? Well, we think it's working out pretty well. We've had some very good feedback from the guys at Sporties. They were kind enough to uh, let us put this airplane on our uh, display here at Oshkosh. Um, it looks so this will nice. go to them right after the show then? Oh, sure, yeah, they flew it up here from uh, Batavia. Oh, they already Ohio. have it, okay. Yeah, so. they already have it. Yeah, we delivered this to them in um, oh, uh, mid-June. I see. So. And uh, so they've had it now for um, getting on six weeks, uh, coming up in a couple of months. Cool. And uh, a lot of guys at Sporties had an opportunity to fly it. Um, the, the guy who flew it back from uh, all the way from Oregon to Ohio was pretty complimentary about it. Um, yeah, we've had some pretty good feedback from them. They all seem pretty happy with it. And uh, they're going to be flying it around the country over the course of the next year until yeah, that's good for you. away next May, I believe. So that's a nice thing for the company right. and for Sporties. And if you're a Sporties buyer, well, this yep. could be this airplane right here could be yours. It's that's good. pretty cool. I think, yeah, any, any purchase you make at Sporties gets you ended in the I think they put you in, right? That's yeah. how I understand right. it, too. So very cool. Yeah. I might well, buy some of the Sporties myself. There you, one hey, why not? Yeah. Huh? Even though you work for the company, wouldn't be All bad right. to get one for free. Even so. the company discount isn't quite to free. Exactly. <laughs> no, I would guess not. Yeah. Gus, we appreciate you giving us a lot of information about it. People right. always want more. Uh, we'll put it up on the screen for them, but what's right. the web address for more information about the RV-12? More information about the RV-12, um, it's www.vansaircraft.com or you can just email us at info at vansaircraft.com. Um, uh, there's uh, more, much more information about the RV series on my website, including a very small pilot report about it. You can get all that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at AirVenture Oshkosh.